Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Full Face Friday. Full Face Friday. Full Face Friday. New makeup, new makeup. On Friday, on Friday. Ah, 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 brava, brava, a slow clap. Well then, today's Full Face Friday, I am going to be doing a full face makeup look using everything by Clinique. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been working with Clinique on their new Clinique ID campaign, which I'm super excited about. And this entire video isn't sponsored by Clinique, but I have been doing their Clinique ID campaign with them. If you missed the video over on Instagram, you can go check that out. And I've been mentioning this quite a bit in videos, I'd say I've been using it since the beginning of December when I first got my hands on it. I've used it quite a bit. I'm gonna be doing a full face of Clinique today. I thought it would be fun. And there's a lot of products that I have used and loved in the past, and then a couple that are new that I'm super excited to try. So I wanted to give it a try for you today. I'm gonna start with the Clinique ID. Super cool, they have three different bases. This is a dramatically different moisturizing lotion plus. This is the hydrating version, they also have the hydrating jelly which you guys will have seen in my last Sunday's video that has the fatigue cartridge in it the orange one the one I use typically on a daily basis is the irritation cartridge and it just has a bunch of active ingredients in here that help with inflammation and sensitivity which is me right now especially after that Fenty fiasco that I had <laughs> this is my preferred cartridge and you can kind of just pick the base that you want they have an oil control gel moisturizer as well and you just kind of choose whichever one you're looking for they have five different cartridges and basically you take the little two tube out, you screw it in here and it combines the moisturizer and the cartridge in one pump and each pump is designed to be the perfect amount for your entire face and it mixes the lotion and the active concentrates together and you put that on and that is all of the moisturizer that you need and it feels so good. And I've been such a huge fan and I love that you can kind of mix and match your perfect little skincare concoction, my favorite thing to do. So that is the Clinique ID. Thank you Clinique for bringing this into my world. I'm so excited to be working on this campaign with them. I'm gonna take the Moisture Surge Face Spray, which I've actually also had for quite a bit. I really like it. They have a Moisture Surge line where they have an overnight mask and then the moisturizers themselves, but this is a really, really lovely spray. Very hydrating and refreshing throughout the day. Now for the foundation, I wanted to use the Chubby Stick foundation, but the shades I got were super dark. I definitely uh, picked the wrong shades on that front, so I think just because the Even Better Glow foundation is a foundation I've been using a lot lately. I featured it in my yearly favorites. It's such a great foundation. I figured I would just continue and really hit the point home because I'm talking Talking about a few of my favorites from Clinique, this would definitely be one of the main favorites, the Even Better Glow Foundation. I have this in the shade CN28 Ivory. Wait, let me zoom in. I always forget to zoom in. Sorry guys. Anyway, as I was saying, this is such a beautiful foundation. It has become one of my top favorite foundations of all time. It's so great if you have dry or sensitive skin. It has a really nice natural finish. It's not too like glowy or oily looking which sometimes especially because i get oily just in my t-zone in particular and then the rest of my skin is very very dry it really nicely caters to all of the random areas on my skin it doesn't make me look too glowy or oily in some areas and then it just beautifully hydrates the other areas of my skin and it lasts so well all day it doesn't get really gross and grubby on my skin as the day goes through its thing it feels so good and i like to just rub it around with my hands. I love to apply glowing foundations with my fingers and then I just go around and pat it in and it does such a nice thin layer. It evens out the skin tone. It doesn't have too much coverage. It's very, very light coverage, but slightly more coverage than like a MAC face and body. It just feels great and I've been such a huge fan of it. That would be my foundation recommendation from Clinique for sure. Look at that poetry, damn. Next I'm gonna try the Clinique Airbrush Concealer. This is in the shade Neutral Fair. It's one of those twisty up -y things. This is a little bit light, but I'm very curious to see how it works on dark circles and also blemishes. I'm just gonna blend this in with my finger. I don't know how I feel about that. It's very, very brightening under the eye. And it really sets in. It almost has a slightly, I don't wanna say matte. It doesn't have a matte finish, but I certainly wouldn't be putting any powder on this. I feel like it's gonna be fine on its own. It says illuminates and perfects. I wouldn't say this would be your best option for spots or concealing blemishes, but it really does have a brightening effect. I'm gonna try their Chubby Stick Contour. Chubby Stick Sculpting 
contour. When these chubby sticks first came out, I remember everyone being so obsessed with them and I haven't really heard people talk about them since. And I don't know if I tried them. I don't, I don't really remember. I can barely remember what I did this morning, let alone years ago. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna apply some on the face. And because it's a little bit warmer, I know it says contour and contour products are typically more cool tone, but because it is a little bit warmer, I'm gonna use it as like a bronzer and contour in one. It's easy enough to blend out and it's working really nicely as a bronzer, but looking at the color and the shade that it's turning up on my skin, I would not be marketing this as a contour. This would be a cream bronzer in my books. I put some on my jawline as well. Lovely finish, more of a very light natural bronzer. This would be something that I would like pack in my makeup bag. If I were going on a beach or a hot trip, this is something I would use. I usually like to have my bronzer a little bit more intense, but this is perfect for every day. And for those of you who like the more no makeup makeup look, it's pretty much undetectable on my skin, which is really cool. It's just given such a natural, warm finish all over the skin. I actually really like that. And I love the packaging of this too. It's very simple and stick form is lovely and easy for travel. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight. This one is in the shade 01 Hefty Highlight. And this is pink. The packaging is pink in itself and it has a more like frosty, almost cool tone pink finish, which is fine. It's pretty. The formula is beautiful, but I really don't like this color. I don't like pinky highlights on me. I find that putting like these cool tone silvery products on my face, especially when it comes to highlighter, kind of has a more ill-inducing effect than not. I definitely prefer the more kind of gold or champagne colored highlights. I think they give you a more healthy, fresh glow versus the silvery pinky. I'm just not a fan, but um, the formula itself is really, really pretty and BRB. I need to check and see what shades they have in this. It's the only shade on their website, so Clinique. This is a beautiful formula. Very easy to blend out, very creamy and soft, but please work on your shade range. That would be amazing. So for blush, I've talked about these a ton and it's one of my favorite launches that Clinique has ever come out with. It's their Cheek Pop blushes. And I don't remember how many years ago it was, but when they first came out, I was obsessed. They came out with so many different colors and I think it was a really, really beautiful launch from Clinique and I'm glad that it wasn't limited edition. I'm glad that they kept their Cheek Pop blushes. This one is the shade 05 Nude Pop. And look at the cute little flower. The packaging is so pretty. It's a really beautiful form. Formula, and they have a ton of different colors. There's definitely gonna be a color for everyone in these. And the nude pop is just a lovely, warm, healthy nude. I'm just gonna take a little bit across my nose as well. I'm gonna go ahead and try some brow products. I've never actually used brow products from Clinique. This is the Super Fine Liner for Brows. I have this in the shade Blonde. And then they also have this Just Browsing Brush on Styling Mousse, which looks exactly like the Benefit Gimme Brow or the Glossier Boy Brow. Same kind of concept. And both of these are the shade 01 Blonde. Oh, I like that it's the retractable brow. The one thing I don't like about this right off the hop and is something that would prevent me from using this in the future is the fact that it doesn't have a spoolie. I need a spoolie when I am filling in my brows. I have a standalone spoolie that I can use, but I really, really prefer when my brow pencils have it attached. On the other side, it's just easier to use. This is a more dry formula, like if I'm just comparing it to the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, for example, which is the brow pencil I use most often. It's a lot more of a dry formula. It's not as creamy. I'm having to press a lot harder onto the skin, which, <laughs> I don't really like when I'm filling in my brows because I find that when I have to press hard, sometimes I have like brow hairs falling out as I'm doing it. I'm like, oh my God, I'm balding. But the color's nice. I don't know. It's not my favorite pencil. This one's gonna be a no for me. But for those of you who prefer a more dry brow formula, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Why is it that you prefer it? What do you like about it versus a more pigmented brow product? Let's see this. This color is a lot more cool toned in comparison. I found that pencil to be quite warm. But the mousse, it's a nice cool blondy brown. That added a lot of product. Like it's definitely giving my brows a more thick look. We'll see how it holds up, see if the brows stay up, but the look itself is nice and I really like the spoolie on this. I like it when brow products have this small, little precise tip on it. It's nice. I like it. This one, not so much. 
Let's move on to the eyes. I don't really see much in terms of eyes from Clinique. This palette that I have right here is the Best of Black Honey. This one right here, and it still comes with these sponge applicators, and I just need to know. Like, we need to start a poll or something. Do people actually use these? I'm genuinely curious because I see them in so many eyeshadow palettes that are launched. I feel like it's such a dated thing. I've never used these, they've never worked for me, and I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts if you use them, and I feel like companies should just stop including them, like save the extra packaging. Save a turtle or two, I don't know. I find them to be quite wasteful, but I'm curious to hear if you guys use them. But anyway, the Black Honey range, I realized I don't even have the Black Honey Almost Lipstick. I always give it to my mom because that's her favorite product ever. It used to be one of my favorite products. It's like a very nice, light, tinted, moisturizing balm that goes on the lips. It's beautiful. And they extended the entire like Black Honey range because it was such a popular product. And this is the eyeshadow palette. In my incredibly unreliable recent memory, I don't recall ever using eye products from Clinique other than maybe their chubby eye pencils. But I don't know if I've ever tried their eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to dip into this one today. I'm going to start with this shade right here. I put on a shirt that has purple lines in it because I wanted to do something a little bit cool tone because I feel like I always do warm tones. But I thought that with this palette, it's the perfect opportunity to dip into some cool tones quick. This, this eyeshadow reminds me of um, the Maybelline Bad to the Bronze color tattoo. This is a very, very similar feeling color. They're very, very creamy. And I actually really, like, these aren't my usual daily tones that I would use. Like, I'm not particularly drawn to the shades in this palette. I would have been years ago when I exclusively used cool toned eyeshadows, but I'm definitely on a warmer shadow loving moment in life right now but the size of this palette and the number of shades you get in here, if they would extend the shade range, this would be a perfect palette for travel. And that blended out so nicely. That was so easy. I'm gonna dip into this pink. I'm gonna do a little light wash of this all over the lid as well. That didn't really come off pink as, at all. That, that came off like gold. I guess it does have some gold shimmer running through it, but damn, very iridescent, if you will. I'm gonna dip into this brown right here. And just place that on the outer corners. I'm just bringing the leftover product throughout the crease. I'm not dipping in and adding any more, but I'm just taking a nice light layer of whatever is left over on the brush and I'm just dragging that through the crease. This is such a pretty brown color. I'm going to use a little bit of that brown on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this shimmery gold shade and use this to highlight the inner corners and also the brow bone. This is such a nice highlight. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what? That's a really nice gold shade. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the face. I'm just gonna take my highlighting brush and dip into this gold and kind of warm up that pink. <laughs> the pink on the face. I like that. I like that a lot. So speaking of the Black Honey range, this is the Intense Black Honey Quick Liner for Eyes. And it also has a smudger built onto it. Taking just a little bit of that onto the lash line. And I'll just take the little back smudger. I'm just gonna push that into the lash line. I'm not gonna do a crazy wing or anything. Who do you think I am? <laughs> I don't like this smudger. I feel like that was an unnecessary piece to this liner. However, this formula itself is very creamy indeed. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, moving on to the mascara. I'm going to use the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I haven't used this in a really long time, but I remember using it. I remember going through multiple tubes of this and really liking it. So it's been a long time since I have embraced its love. So I'm gonna try a couple layers of that right now. I love how this eye turned out, by the way. I really like this brush. I'm not a fan of plastic pokey brushes. I always stab my eyes when I use those. I like the more fluffy, floofy ones. It gives your lashes like a more wispy feel and it's not too volumizing. It's like perfect, I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely lighter. It's not like very thick and volumizing. It's a really lovely everyday finish. Now, moving on to the bottom lash mascara. Do any of you recall the Hysteria 
surrounding this product on YouTube. I feel like there was a time on YouTube where every single person was using this Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I remember being so obsessed with it. I haven't used it in forever, but it's the most adorable, tiny little package. It looks like the brow gels. It's just got this little sweet wand on the bottom and it doesn't add too much product. You don't stab your eyes with a giant wand and then turn into a raccoon instantly. It kind of just like makes applying mascara on the bottom lashes more easy and lovely. I feel like my bottom lashes almost look more thick than the top, that's so funny. Speaking of brow sized things, I feel like my brows are already falling. I'm gonna dip into my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just put a layer on and re-lift my brows. Okay, so moving on to lips. I've never tried this one in particular. This is the Quick Liner for Lips in the shade 09 Honey Stick. I'm gonna line my lips with this. At first, I didn't think that any product was coming out until I realized that it's almost, almost the exact same shade as my lips. Like, it's slightly warmer than my natural lip shade, but I think that this is like the closest that a product has ever come to matching my lips. I love that. Lovely everyday liner and now I'm going to use the dramatically different lipstick I actually already had these two in my collection. I've been using them a lot I have the shade 01 Babely and the shade 07 blushing nude 01 This is like a more cool toned lighter nude and then this one is a little bit of a deeper more purpley nude I thought this would be nice to put with the makeup that we're doing today I really like this lipstick. It has the like moisturizing tube in the center and then the color around it so you're moisturizing. So your lips are left very highly moisturized with lots of color too. I really like that shade. This is like what I would imagine, especially paired with this shirt, this is the makeup I would imagine me wearing on a daily basis if I had like an office job and I was going to work. This is the type of makeup I would probably do for that. But I really love how this makeup look turned out. I'm so impressed. I'll show you guys up close the skin. You can see my blemishes and whatnot. Thank you, eyebrush concealer. I love the finish though. I feel like very, very hydrated. I feel very glowy and I feel like my skin just looks very healthy right now. And I love that finish and I prefer that with makeup. Up. So this is the finished look you guys. This is my full face using entirely Clinique products. What are your thoughts? Have you guys tried any of these Clinique products down below? If there are products that you love from Clinique that I haven't shown here, let me know what your favorites are. I had a very nostalgic moment as I was using these products. So many of them I've been using on and off throughout the years. So many of them I just recognize from seeing on YouTube and from my family members from throughout the years. And I also have been absolutely loving the Clinique ID. I'll list all the products, including this, in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching this video everyone and I will see you all in Sunday's video. Bye!